I'm going to start with eyebrows. Now, I've obviously looked after your eyebrows quite a lot, haven't I, over the years? Especially when you didn't have any. Yes. Uh, uh, Julian is a major cancer survivor, which yes. we are all delighted about. But I'm just going to tidy up your brows. So before I even start with them, I'm just using either cotton bud or cotton pad just to make sure that there's no SPF cream or anything in the brow. That's sometimes, that's often why I do that before. Ooh, that's a good idea. I hadn't thought about doing that. Because if you find that your cold pencil or your ink pen doesn't last, it's usually because there's just too much or, or some grease product of the pigment can't adhere to it. So you've got really even colour in your brows, but what I want to use is the Wonder Brow Thicker Brow Pen. This is really fantastic because, see either end, it has two nibs, mm. I'm going to show you. It's got a micro tip and a normal tip, okay? And that's really important in terms of keeping things slightly irregular, as in the brow hair, because your brows aren't even, some of them are very pale, some of them are very dark. So to kind of keep something really natural, it's important to have di differentiations of the hair size. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, you know, we're talking minute, but you know. So this shade of the Wonder Brow Brow Pen Duo is brunette. There's also one that is black brow. Don't you look so scared? Scar no, I know, I'm really it's, interested in this. Yeah. So as I said, it's got two different tips. So we're going to start with a very fine tip. And you just need to store it flat. Okay. okay. If you store it down, it just ends up with too much ink at the bottom and you be. might end up putting on too much when you first start with your first stroke. Okay. So just leave it flat in your makeup bag as you normally would. Um, it's got such a good delivery. Well, you'll see in a second. So. I'm going to rest my hand here and I'm just going to take the pen through and I'm going to follow your brow shape. And I'm just going to do upward strokes following your hair pattern. So what it does is that the ink stays on the skin, which we love, but it looks like fine hair strokes and it's so, so delicate. So you can spend some time just going with, with the micro one first to get your confidence up and go, okay, fine, I'm doing that two or three times. But then you might think, oh, do you know what? I've, I've kind of got the hang of this. So just don't start on the first few hairs. Allow yourself a, first, a few little hairs in so you get nice graduation. And then you can go in with the slightly fuller side, which is like a standard kind of like pen that you'd put on eyeliner with or you know similar to other brow pens but I just love the fact that this has got two different shapes I'm just going to make it a little bit fuller and then bring the brows down slightly and then you want to probably turn it over and as you just do those fine baby ones that come up into the shape then you can just break that up so it stops the brow looking solid and looks super super natural I should probably get you a little mirror, Gillian. Wow, that is I don't really amazing. Go. I've really struggled with my eyebrows and I absolutely love that. So how long does that last? So that is smudge proof, it's long lasting. I mean, for me, it just lasts all day. So, so long I as fiddle you- fiddle around, no? Can I fiddle around with it? Yeah, go on, touch it. Oh, that is amazing. So unlike coal, it doesn't smudge, but you have to do the prep first. So you have to make sure that you're putting it onto a dry skin. That hasn't got any cream on and then you'll get the best out of it but no it's it's one loads of awards actually this product but it's well, quite nice with now you compare each one yeah you can see that it's very natural so i wouldn't want to put a powder or a coal on you because i think you would feel that it was too different yeah i know that would brow. be too weird yeah and this is just enough i love it i love it so let's just do the other side and we'll just recap and so you can see here as we get older um our brows start to get a little bit more fine in this area here and they can just pull back and we really want to kind of keep that strength in our brows there because it does frame the eye and it gives good structure to our face so that's where the micro tip becomes really helpful so again just just relax that's it because you threw your Gillian threw her eyebrows up to her forehead and we'll just pull that up very delicately and sometimes you can think oh gosh Nothing's happening, but honestly, just the little fine delicate hairs make all the difference. 
So just get into your comfort zone, feel the shape, feel the um, brush across the brow, because it is a sort of technique that you need to kind of get used to, a bit like doing a sort of graphic eyeliner. And then a few hairs, give yourself a few hairs before you start with a slightly thicker nib and then bring that up and just follow your natural growth line. Just make sure you're looking towards a nice window, good even light. And then as you come to the bottom of the brow here, go back to the fine liner and then just do some tiny little baby hairs, trickle them out just there and then just bring them in there and that should be quite balanced. Gorgeous! Love nice. that! You look really nice. You can have another look at that. Thank you very much. I'm just going to brush those through. Now if you want to, you can brush those through Gillian um, and then just to see how they feel. If, so if you feel you've gone too far and you've oh, overdone it. I really them. like that. If you've overdone it's so it, natural. doing this with a spoolie will just push them back, you know, like 5%. You can go even stronger if you want if you've done it, but you won't need to. And then once it's dried, it's pretty much smudge proof. Great. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Thank you.